All right. So uh, I'm going to help you guys get into Fight Cave, uh, which is a free emulator, essentially, uh, on PC. Um, and what it does is it allows you to have access to all of these really old but awesome fighting games from the yesteryear. Uh, not just that, basically anything that can have a two-player component. You can see over here we've got Pyo Pyo, right? Um, they got nice slashes over here. You know, you could add in things like Dead or Alive. Uh, uh, no, not Dead or Alive. I was just reading that. Uh, Streets of Rage, things like that. Basically, anything that has a two-player component. Uh, and we've seen for a while that emulators can actually do this. But I'm going to help you guys actually download this um, and get it up and running easy, like super easy, right? Uh, I've been playing a lot of Fightcade uh, for the last few weeks. It's some of the best fun I've ever had in a fighting games for a long time. It really is. It's absolutely amazing. So first and foremost, there's going to be a link in the description. Or you can come to my Discord and you can go to the Fight Kate section right here. And the, the same link will be here. This will take you to this page, right? Uh, and as you can see here, the file size for it is 487.9 megabytes. Um, you click on download, all right? And what it does, it'll initialize. It'll start to download. Once it finishes downloading, it will then uh, prompt you to save it somewhere on your desktop. Uh, and the zip file itself uh, will be called Fightcade, right? Now you can open up Fightcade using whatever zip program that you'd like, but essentially once you do open it up, uh, it's gonna look something like this, right? And inside it is gonna be a whole bunch of, of files, right? So once you, uh, once you, you know, whichever way, you know, your program works, you extract that particular, um, you extract that particular folder, right? Uh, and I will show you how it looks once you've extracted it inside the folder. You don't have to install it or anything like that. You just have to have it so that, um, you know, you just have all the files right there, ready to go. That's it. Okay. Now I'm going to uh, zoom in just so you can see here what this looks like, all right? So, so far it's pretty easy, right? Okay. Now, the only file that you run here is Fightcade 2. You don't run any other file, ever, okay? You just run that one, that is the only one to run, and that will bring you to this start page that you can see right here. Uh, let's just fix that back up again. Lovely, right? So once you press Fight K2, it'll lo load up. It'll ask you, like you'll have to register an account, right? So if you've got a registered account, obviously you'll be able to set yourself as a way or online. That what that does is that when you're in a lobby, say for example, Mortal Kombat 2, what it does is it shows that I am up here looking to play and then the rest of the people are not available, right? Now in Ultimate MK3, just to show you something different, uh, you got looking to play and then you got people that are actually playing and you can actually spectate them playing as well. And when you're playing a match and you see the little eye icon down the bottom of your screen while you're playing, that means that people in the lobby are actually watching you, right? But look at the amount of games that you have access to. It is absolutely phenomenal, right? Now this is a free version. I highly recommend not downloading it from the, the Fightcade website because if you do that, then when you go to add a game and then you go to run the game, it'll come up with a whole bunch of errors saying that you do not have access to the actual files themselves. Now, um, if, you do, if you do want access directly to them, right? if you don't feel comfortable about downloading the ROM, uh, or sorry, the file that I have already set up to automatically download the stuff, Join the Discord in the Fightcade section. I will gather all the links that you need to access all the ROMs that you need for Fightcade that they support. And that, that, that way you can access them yourself if you want to do that. The reason why I absolutely love doing this is very simple, right? So for example, uh, I'm just trying to see a game that I probably wouldn't have downloaded. Um, maybe Street Fighter 2 Champion, maybe, or maybe not. Uh, we'll go, let's check the, um, let's check popular, right? Let's see what we got. Let's see, let's get something that I know I definitely wouldn't have downloaded, right? 
maybe Capcom versus SNK2. We'll try that. Now, the free version allows you to have three lobbies that you can be a part of that you can see up there, right? Underneath the main logo for Fight K, right? You can join up to three at a time. If you join the Patreon and pay, it allows you to access, I believe, up to 10 at once, right? But you can leave stuff very, very easily, all right? Just to sh quickly show you. Actually, I'll, I'll add the game first. Hopefully, this will work, right? You never know when you're making videos of this particular nature. You can see there that it's now accessing the file. It's now downloading the file, and then that is it, right? Okay, this is absolutely fair. Maybe I did get it before. It doesn't matter. This is what the process does. This is why I recommend downloading this particular zip file because this is an automatic process. You don't have to worry about doing anything whatsoever in regards to, oh, I've got to go find these games and put them in this folder and stuff like that. This absolutely streamlines this process and it's utterly fantastic. Now, uh, just to zoom, just to zoom in, right, just to showcase to you, if you have joined one and you're like, oh, well, I've got some mates that want to play Capcom versus SNK2, but oh, I've got MK1, I've got Ultimate, and I've got MK2 in there. What if I want to leave? Well, it's very easy. You just click on this icon here, go leave channel, and done. That's it. That's all you do. There's nothing else to it, right? Very, very easy, okay? Now, the reason why this one's taking a little bit to download is because it's a big file. Right, but now you can see that I am now part of the Capcom versus SNK2 lobby. There's quite a lot of people that are playing in here, which is really nice. Now, this is the easy part, right? This lot, the next part is not super complicated, but it's probably more than what you've been doing so far, right? And you can put this folder for Fight K anywhere on your computer. You can right click on Fight K2, create a shortcut, put that anywhere, and off your pop, right? Now, you can test every game every game right you come up to the right here you click test game right and it'll open up a window right now because it's a essentially and now flycast by the way is a very prominent dreamcast emulator right and they've just recently implemented fight k directly through this um as well which is pretty awesome so if you've got flycast and you've got that one that actually has that access it's really awesome otherwise this is what it's doing. It's loading up the uh, Dreamcast emulator, right? If you will. And uh, if you want to set your buttons, you just go into, for example, for this particular one, right? You can go to, uh, is it, uh, hang on, let's, uh, oh yeah, here we go. So if your controller is plugged in, always run, always plug in your controller before you launch Fightcade every time. Uh, general, as a general rule, you do that for emulators anyway. Uh, you click on, so here it's got Xbox One S controller, which is what I have. Um, obviously, I'm going to click on Quick Map. Uh, I'm going to press a button on the controller, and now I can go through the process of setting up all my buttons for that. And that's it, right? That's all I need to do, right? Uh, how do I get out? There we go. Mate, no, no. Menu. There we go, lovely, excellent, that's done. And now it's gonna load the game up, right? Pretty cool stuff, right? This is, this is pretty cool stuff, right? Now, in case you're wondering why you're seeing buttons showing up when I press them, it's because you're testing the game. You're making sure that the game is actually functional, all your buttons are working, stuff like that. And you don't have to do this every time. This is done just once per game, right? I'm going to show you the... Now, this was the, for the Flycast stuff, obviously, right? Uh, but you can see here, obviously, so I'm going to go through. I'll just choose uh, to choose some characters, right? There we go. Uh, yeah, we'll go Relenzo, yeah. Uh, we'll go Eagle as well, right? And uh, and it just, it just loads up. That's it, man. It just works. Now these buttons showing up here don't show up when you're actually fighting people online, so don't stress about that at all, right? Um, and <laughs> you can see all these things, this sort of stuff that you can see on screen, I'm assuming you can actually like turn some of this stuff off as well, uh, so you can actually get rid of it, or you could probably even move stuff around as well, right? But essentially what you're doing is you're playing the arcade, 
um, which is really nice. You can also access things like dip switches and stuff like that, which is really cool. So it's it's pretty groovy, right? Now, if you are, say for example, let's just, loot, let's just leave that. Uh, say you're playing Mortal Kombat 2, right? You download Mortal Kombat 2. You're like, oh, I need to set my buttons up, right? So at the menu at the top is how you access uh, everything in the game anyway, right? So what you do is let me just uh, fit to screen. There we go. Uh, I'm going to turn that off because that was an odd window. So you'll see here you've got game, video, so you can set everything that you want to your heart's content. But obviously the most important part is mapping your game inputs, right? And uh, if we zoom in right here, you can see here it's directly telling you, right? So you just double click that, you press the button that it's asking you uh, to do, right? So I'm gonna have a select button for a coin, right? I'm gonna press start for that and so on and so on. You press okay and that's it. That's it, right? That's all you need to do. And you just do that for every game, right? You do that per, like, so there's a, it's, it supports a bunch of emulators, right? So obviously whatever game or whatever emulator is loading the game up, it's, ha it's gonna have its own section for you to input, like put your button input, right? Now I just use standard Xbox controllers because I prefer the actual D-pad being the cross. Um, and that's it. That's, that's, that's literally it. Now to search for stuff, obviously, if you put in, uh, you click on the magnifying glass, you type in uh, Mortal Kombat, you are actually gonna get a whole bunch of hits, right? So I currently have MK2, so I'm just gonna rejoin Ultimate MK3. It rechecks to look for the ROMs, and of course I've already got them, so it's really fast. And then of course I'll add in, say, I could add in Mortal Kombat 1, but if I wanted to download, say, like the old Mega Drive, you know, Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3 or, or, or something like that, or Super NES version or, or whatever, right? Uh, it's the same process again, where it goes to look for the file, right? It'll download the ROM, and we'll load it up actually too, because this will also be a separate emulator as well. This is why I highly recommend the zip file that I have, uh, you know, made a link to, because it does everything all by itself. You know, like it's very easy. Right, this is loading up. I believe it's FB Neo, which is a you know another emulator. You just simply go to Import Map Game Inputs, and then of course you come in and you set up your buttons exactly how you want them to be, and that's it. That's it. That is your Fight Cade experience right there. Easy to set up, download, install. Setting up the buttons, extraordinarily easy. Extraordinarily easy, right? So uh, let's just jump out of that. We'll uh, we'll come back in. We might add in, uh, I don't know. We'll add in, maybe maybe we'll add in like Street Fighter 3 Third Strike, you know, and uh, and uh, see if we can get a match. Or maybe an MK2. I'll try and see if I can get a hit with MK2. Now to challenge someone, uh, obviously you can set yourself to being uh, available by once you've registered, you click on this part here, you go to, uh, hang on, to either online or away. If you're online, it puts you in the, in the top spot. So that is telling people, yes, you know, you are available to be challenged. You just right click on someone's name, you click challenge, and that's it. There's a nice little chat area down the bottom here that you can see right here, which is pretty groovy. Okay. And you, you just wait, or people might challenge you, either one, right? We'll come over here, see if we can get a challenge so you guys can at least kind of see what the setup is like. Um, just gonna challenge a whole bunch of people. Right, so hopefully, hopefully we'll get a hit, right? And uh, and then we might even come in here. Oh, we got a, uh, oh, here we go. Somebody's already, yep, there we go. Somebody's accepted the challenge. There we go, lovely stuff, right? And we are playing uh, Ultimate MK3. Now you can also press T to chat. Um, and say g'day, right? You can say hello, right? Obviously be civil and nice and stuff like that with these, you know, with these people. Uh, don't be a jerk. Um, and off we go. Easy. You can see the player names at the top there. My name, uh, 
if anyone's interested in, I, I, some of the guys were actually floating the idea of running competitions. So we might actually do that, uh, actually run some competitions. Uh, and I might actually run a match right now just to show you the connective quality of what I'm dealing with here. Right? It's pretty cool. So some some might be a little bit laggy, but I, I fought a lot of people all over the world, which is pretty cool. Um, and it's been fan, absolutely fantastic, right? So you know, it, that, I can tell it's a little bit laggy on this on this particular on this particular fight, right? Oh. There we go. Scorpion wins. Right? Flawless victory. And I'll just say, I usually say GG's or GG's bro. You know, uh, he has no idea um, that he's actually I might tell him I'm, I'm, I'm doing a bid on it now to help with white aid and this white is in it, bro. There we go. So. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, right? So uh, yeah, anyway, so that's it. So every single game has its own individual lobby, which is really fantastic, right? Uh, you can you can just see like like look at the amount of people. Just just as a, just as a as a gander, right? Uh, let's uh, let's zoom in on this cuz this is pretty pretty damn cool. Right? So if we're looking at like the popular games, Right? With browsing by popular. Okay. So currently right now, Street Fighter 3 Third Strike has 285 people. Okay? And you think, oh, that doesn't sound like a lot. But it's the time of day. Trust me. I've seen, I, I think, I think the other day when I covered something and I showed a King of Fighters, I think it was King of Fighters 2002 or something, I don't know. It had like seven, 800 people, give or take. Like it was psychotic. Right? These numbers fill up depending on the time of day. So you're all good, like, you know, and it's absolutely crazy. And of course, if we're looking at Mortal Kombat games, just specifically, right? Uh, the biggest one currently is a 22. These numbers go up. Trust me, right? These numbers go up for the, for the big ones. Like, obviously, if you're playing, like, one of these obscure ones, like the Game Gear version, you know, stuff like that, um, you know, obviously, you know, there's not a whole bunch of people playing. But it's got, the, it's got uh, Mortal Kombat Gold. Actually, I might, I might, I might add that in. I might, I might actually add that in. That's phenomenal. I, I actually just, I just saw that. Right. So it's downloading it. If they can, I, I'm, you know what I'm hoping for? Because I, I read something the other day. Apparently, like they're looking to give PS One support, so PlayStation One support. Could you imagine? If they added things like PlayStation 1 support and PlayStation 2 support. Oh my god. Trilogy all day, baby. Right? Trilogy. Just think of just think of that. Right? So hopefully this guide has been helpful. Like I said, this is based on the zip file or the link that's in the description, as well as if you've got any problems, please come to the Discord, talk in the Fightcade section, and we'll help you out. There's a few of us in there now, uh, including obviously this fellow who's the, my head moderator in here, Dragoon Bandit. Um, we've gotten a few people who have been added uh, to, uh, you know, to the, the wonderful world of Fight Cave, which is really, really awesome, right? And, uh, and there's obviously other communities out there that have been doing this for a really long time. But if you miss these old classic games, this is how you do it. This is how you do it, man. Full access to it download them just like that and then you can just play online with people all around the world and it's amazing so anyway guys i'll leave it there let me know what you think catch you next time